cussy because I just don't get them vibe. I get them cool vibe. I don't know what it is. I need to learn. I don't know. I just get the cool ass vibe from y'all, so I just be like, oh, we hear that a lot. Yeah. It's just definitely a lot of Watch, grow up. Yeah, like y'all know me, like, so it don't. It don't. It don't feel disrespectful. It just feel. Yeah, I don't like, know. Where is that? That's not hard. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's awesome. I did. I did. Was well, she there? How was that? They do the dishwasher. Stop. Stop. <laughs> I would like to oh. I mean, where did you come up? Did you bring it in? Yeah. Yeah. You ran back so fast, I couldn't see you. I knew mommy so scared. Oh. You talking about that dude I beat up? Man. I told you about it. Matter of fact, I think it was the day after, uh, no, the day before I took you when you went swimming and you lost your contacts on the swimming pool. No, if I'm not mistaken, his name was Dave. He told, he told me, ride with him. Remember, yeah, he was, a, you, you know who I'm talking about. He came over there when, uh, yes. and I beat up old girl in, in the other room. Because she won't, she kept calling my goddamn house. You told her to stop, I told her to stop. She wanted to keep calling my house. So I came up and smacked the car. And then, and then, and then after I beat her up, he fucked her, remember? We sat in the room and talked while she was doing it. But see, that dude, look, look, he asked me to go somewhere with him over this chick house. So I rode with him. Okay. Luckily, I drove. He left me there, so he was about to go to the store with him. This man didn't come back at all. So I went home, and I got into it with, with the wife and shit. So I took her to old girl house where I was, because I was sitting there talking to her and her mama all night, waiting for this thing to come back. So when, she, when they told her what was going on, that I, you know, I wasn't there messing with that and shit, I went straight to that nigga house. This nigga in the bed fucking. I was like, bitch, if you ever do that bullshit again, I will beat your ass. He was like, dog, don't start that shit. He came outside, I beat his ass right there. And I told him, I say, if you... Bet you didn't do come look, No, because you don't do that. That's his little baby mama. He was calling the wife. Don't do that. That's like if, if somebody keep playing on your phone. You think I'm going to let that happen? No. They don't get socked in the head with a phone. You know that. You already know that. I don't have time to play those games. Don't do that. If I tell you not to do something, don't do it. I'm. It, I don't care if you're a nigga or a bitch. I'm gonna beat your ass. Don't do it. Cause you asking for these ass whoopings. And I will be your genie. I will grant every goddamn wish. I ain't gonna have no damn heart attack. I'm about to drink this liquor and be good. Why are you not pushing the button? Because for some reason, I'm still mad. I told him, <laughs> I told that nigga, don't you ever let me see you again or I'm going to beat your ass every time I see you. Do you know every time he thought he saw me, he went the other way. That shit was funny as hell. <laughs> That's when they started calling me Mr. Big. Remember that? <laughs> Don't owe your God. Don't uh <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, that's it. I don't need no chip. I did, look. That was not. He knew he knew what it was. He shouldn't have fucked with me. 
It's it just like just like the county situation. He was there with county, and I told, I kept telling her to stop. She wouldn't stop. He knew not to do that. So I don't have to give him a warning if he already knew not to do the shit in the first place. I shouldn't have to warn you about these things because you're about to get them. It was recorded.